Okay, so uh, when we left off, you guys had uh, your fill of dungeon crawling and ran away. And uh, we just fast forward to the point when you return back to the dungeon where we uh, left off last time. Um, you guys can crawl in through the uh, main door. Make sure you update your tokens so that they have the right uh, hit points and AC and all that kind of fun stuff. And when you're ready, head on in. What are you guys using for a light source? Uh, I'll cast Dancing Light. You're half elf, right, uh, Ragnar? Yeah, I'm half elf. Okay, I guess you can use the torch as your dancing light. Just put it where you want it. Ready, Angus? I'm um, just quickly checking to make sure my AC and health is right. Give me one second. No worries, just making sure. I forgot, what was the red circle again? Red circle's AC. Yeah. Okay, I just gotta check that real quick. Probably didn't change too much. All right, I'm ready. Yes, just one higher. Okay, everyone can make a uh, perception check. Oh, there's no sound from roll 20. Sure. Uh, I forgot where my modifier was on my... Or was there a modifier? Uh, you should have your wisdom bonus, which is probably only plus one, probably four or five ranks in it. Yeah, it's just plus one. Excellent. That was good. Angus, you're getting left behind. I check my character sheet. Uh, roll 20 is doing that stupid moving everything around again thing. Yeah, I just switched uh, my health back down to 7.
I got completely lost. So hopefully I don't go the wrong direction. Okay, I'm back. There we go. I somehow grabbed onto the wall as an area and moved the entire section. So are we chasing the wolf? Yeah, I was here uh, last... I've been here every time, and we marked, every, marked the rooms and stuff, which way to go. And I got left again. Don't worry, we're just in the next room. Uh, one question. Why is there a nine in the middle of the rug? Because that's the room number. Oh, okay. I really hope I'm going the right way. I can... Uh, go back and turn right. I can't remember how to move the map so I can see in front of me. Just go straight through. I couldn't move the map to, to see. I figured it out. Oh, okay. okay. I want to open this door right here. I want to check that box for traps. Okay. You do not find any traps. No, of course not. <laughs> okay, I'll open that box. It has an enormous amount of stuff in it. Yay, stuff. I don't think any of our official treasure uh, minders are here, so you guys are going to have to keep track of your own treasure. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm writing it all down. Okay. Is that a door directly to, like, north of me? Yep. Uh, you don't have to be a rogue to check the traps, right? Nope. You, but you do have to be with them to disarm them, right? Yes. I'm here. Okay. I would like to check the door for traps. Okay. Roll your perception. You don't find any traps. Oh, of course I don't. Well, I don't think it's trapped, so I'm going to go slowly open the door. <laughs> oh, I, 
I gotta go. Th I right, wish me luck. Good luck. Roll your save. Uh, what save is this? Reflex. That's a D20 plus a modifier, right? Yeah, D20 plus 3 plus your dex, which is probably 2 or 3. It says it's rolling the die. That does not get <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of lag tonight. Well, nice knowing you guys. I think we fell for that trap one other time. Two or three times. Yeah, yeah, the last time we played. You stepped on it almost every time that you've come in here. I looked for it. I'm just really bad at it. Well, you couldn't see it when the door was closed. Okay, you take 10 points damage. Ouch, that's brutal 2d6. How do I negate damage from myself again? Just do I just like write it the new health I have down there? Or put minus ten word? in your hit point bar, just minus ten, and it'll subtract it from your current total. I do not feel like that bar is accurate. <laughs> Well, that's because you put minus one instead of minus ten, and your hit points are wrong. At second level, you should have a lot more than nine hit points. On my screen, I said I had 18. So I did oh, minus ten. Yeah, but you didn't change your uh, secondary bar. Okay, now I'm just confused. <laughs> How do I do that? If you click on your token, then go to the cog and uh, right, okay. go in there. I already changed it, but now it reflects your correct hit point total. The old school the old school way, I don't know what they updated recently, but it used to, when you had more than your max hit points, it would stick out beyond your bar, and when you had less than your minimum, it would go backwards, and that was really handy for knowing that you were unconscious or had bonus hit points, but for some reason they removed that. Yeah, I forgot to update my hit points in the cog. Against my better judgment, I'm not going to heal myself and save it for later. That was a terrible idea. I know. I only have so many spells, I can't go wasting them all in the first five minutes. Yeah, but you're not gonna have any spells if you're dead. This is this is true. What you should do is let the rogue lead the way. Yeah, but I'm cocky. It's gonna get me killed. I still wanna roll up that barbarian. So I'm okay if I die. <laughs> Yeah, I had another guy uh, who was going to play a Barbarian, and he didn't show tonight. Well, I guess I'm not going to get to use that in a large person spell. You can cast it on the Orc. I mean, I guess.
Okay, what are you guys doing? Well, well, I'm gonna open the door right here. I'm gonna limp back into the other room where they are. I was gonna say, I, I'm gonna try to disarm the trap. Okay. Roll your check. Yeah, I'm still getting my hotkeys now. Okay, so you know, I do have Masterwork, uh, the Masterwork Thieves tools. I think that that's why I use, right? Yep, use your plus two. And what uh, what die do I roll again? D20 plus your... I think it's Intelligence modifier for Disabled Device. And then uh, your ranks. So probably five or six plus two for the tools. So under my total it says plus six. Then add the two, right? Yep. If you just go into the miscellaneous column and put plus two on your stable device. Oh, I, I just added it to the... No, I realize that, but just so your total is right for next time. All right. Okay, roll your reflex save. This thing's going to single-handedly kill the entire party. So, under reflex, I have plus six on that one. Okay. Nice. Okay. You jump out of the way. Well, I ain't going to mess with that door anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think we should just leave that door alone. How do you draw on things? Go to the uh, draw tool. One that looks like a paintbrush. Let's, let's not go there again. <laughs> See, I was going to draw the free hand. <laughs> I was going to write dangerous on it. You guys can haphazardly do however you want. Can I mark a trap like that or is that cheating? I have no idea. I forgot the draw tool was on. You can, you can definitely mark definitely that there mark. is a trap there. You can't write on the trap because you would trigger the trap. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> right, how do you erase? Go to clear drawings. I can't seem to find it anymore. I used to know where it was. Click on the paint tool and just go down to the bottom. There's a little garbage can that says clear drawings. It's not really important at the moment. Okay, we checked the door, right? I want to open that door right there. Yo Rock is not checking doors, he's just opening them. Opening them and sending his trap remover in.
I want to open that door right there. You guys coming along? And they got lost again. I had to keep checking my Discord because something went wrong with the character sheet. So I was uh, checking my character sheet trying to remember some things. Or, like, get things memorized. No worries. I have no idea which direction you guys went. <laughs> so I really hope not about to die alone. We're, uh, the door next to your torch. Cool, I'm not dead. Not dead yet. Keywords Still count. I want to open that door right there. I'm going to stand on the other side of the door, so if a trap goes off, I'm not going to die. Anyone know what the X is for? This was a room with a reward. We were in this room before. Yeah, somebody drew an X on the board instead of clicking the X on the token. Yeah, that was me. I'm going to check this door for traps. Okay. Okay, you don't find any traps. I want to open that door. I want to check the door to my north for traps. Also no traps. I want to open that door. I'm going to kind of stay in the back. <laughs> I'm brave and reckless, but I'm going to hide in the back. Check the uh, box for traps. We did not find any traps. Open the box. And you find a bunch of loot. You guys are so much better at finding the loot this time. Last time you just walked by all the doors that had treasure chests behind them. I remember the route. Go check all the doors. Well, you just found two significant stashes of coin, and uh, you haven't fought a single monster yet. Yeah, but somehow I'm still half dead. Stupid traps. True. 
You saying managed, as a, you managed to be oh. defeated by the floor. Yeah, it happens from time to time. I'm not very good at walking. Seeing as how we haven't run into a monster yet, I feel like we're going to soon, so I'm going to go ahead and cast, uh... I no longer have Cure Minor Wounds. I, I uh, traded it out and then put Cure Light Wounds instead of um, as a first level spell. So I'm going to cast that, even though I can't cast very many. Why did you get rid of Cure Minor Wounds? Cure Minor Wounds is a zero level spell. Yes, I know, but there were other things that I wanted more. Wait, did I get rid of... No, I didn't. I saw... I was going to and didn't, so I still have Cure Minor Wounds. It's still on my character sheet. So, yeah, cast Cure Minor Wounds. What's the bonus to a Cure Minor Wounds by my character? Just one? Yeah, it's D3 plus one. Has anyone checked this door to the left of me yet? I do not believe no. so. What are you guys doing? Are you checking the door? Sure. Yeah, should I, I, I meant to say that. Sorry, I forgot to click the button, actually. Oh, okay, because uh, Dagon went to the other door, so I thought you guys were splitting up. Yeah, I'll check the door. What are you Do checking? not the split the for? party. Oh, you're a fine one to talk about that. We got lots of loot from that <laughs> from that snail, okay? Yes, but the quantity of loot was fixed. It was the strategy that was broken. Nobody died. That's that's that's. What... Yeah, nobody died, but two players were rendered unconscious. I got a really cool poem about it. Awesome. Okay, Ragnar, what are you doing? You know. uh, I was checking the door, sorry. What are you checking the door for? Uh, traps. Okay, you don't find any traps. Listen to see if you can hear anything behind the door. Okay, I go to listen. So I'm I staying behind the door. Uh, I roll for perception, right? Yes. Ooh, 14. Do I hear anything? Nope. Anyone got, uh, anyone stronger than my character? With physical strength, no. I don't think so. York is easy. York is strong. I guess I opened the, open the door. Sorry, I said that a little loud. Yeah, it sounds like you're in a uh, tin can. Uh, do you have a weapon out? Yeah, I have my uh, composite short bow. I'm also holding my uh, what is it, rapier, scimitar, one of those rapier, I think. Dagon? Uh, my bow. Okay, are you opening the door? Uh, 
Ragnar? Yep. Uh, do I go through the door now? Sorry, my wife just came down. My uh, daughter went to the farm and there happened to be two cows giving birth and she walked around the corner and a baby cow popped out of its bum and now she has a lot of questions about where babies come from. Oh no! Understandable, oh, understandable. Oh no! I checked, uh... The, pla the place in behind the door for trap. Okay. Yeah, my wife is currently pregnant, so she's got a lot of explaining about where the baby comes out to do. Oh, joy. I've been there, done that. Go with the store, it could always work. Yeah, but how does it get out of your belly? She currently believes it comes out through the belly. Magic. Belly, but now that we've discussed the vagina part, this is going to get complicated. The funny thing is, my other daughter didn't even ask where my son came from. Are there any traps with the 12? There are no 12 traps. And there's a monster. Cool. Roll initiative. You're alone in the room, and you're armed with a bow. Should we be rolling initiative as well? Only if you want to take an action. I was going to move up behind him. That sounds a lot like an action. Where was initiative again? That's that uh, macro that uh, we used last time. Did you make a uh, initiative macro out of it last time? Yeah, I did. It. I have a uh, initiative macro, but I've, I was looking for something. I, I meant to ask, uh, do I have any initiative bonuses? Uh, you would be, it would be on your character sheet at the top where it says initiative with your short bow. You're probably like minus six or something, minus four. Yeah, minus six. So I forgot to put that in. My initiative is actually one. I did the, I did the modifier wrong. I think I did mine too. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, it's plus four now. I didn't check that. That wolf is speedy as hell. Yeah, just go with it. You can click on the number in, uh, in the turn order and change it if you make a mistake. So I can change it, uh, the plus four. Yeah, I can just click on the number and add four to it. There we go. Wait, I think I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, you added 5.8 to it, or 5.2, so that's fine. You're before Angus and after Dagon. All right. It only really matters if your numbers are close. And since the cockatrice has a plus 15 modifier, you're not going to be close. Hacks. I assume the wolf is not doing anything?
That's about all I can do because I can't see. Okay, so he just charges into the room. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who should we attack? Well, we're going to attack Ragnar at least the first round. Oh my god. Well, he's vulnerable and weak. Oh my god. Holding a bow. Oh, that's a much. Oh, wow. I, for a second there, I thought he missed you, but he hits you. So you take a whopping D4 minus 2. So you take one point, because you always take a minimum of one point on a hit. And then you can roll your petrification save. We're all going to die. And what do I roll for? Do what do I roll for the petrification save? Petrification affects your body. Anything that affects your body is uh, four. So, oh yeah, save, save, yeah. I had a macro for it. Do I have any bonuses? Nope. Should get at least your con. Probably one or two. Somebody move the torch. Can can I do that when it's not? I I don't know if, how this works. You can move the torch around. That's fine. I think he wants it out of the way just because he wants to stand where the torch is. Yeah. I hope nice. I did that. Uh, DC is it's only 12, so it's not a hard DC to make. Okay, so you are not petrified. Although, in hindsight, you probably are petrified. The feeling, not the effect. Yeah. Dagon, you're up. And that was my movement. Can I cast a spell from where I'm standing? You can cast a spell, but you can't really uh, target anything from where you are. You can cast a spell, spell on yourself or on Ragnar. Okay. Well, he's standing in that corner right there. Can I shoot my bow at him? Uh. You can shoot around the corner, but you're minus four for cover, and another minus four because he's in melee, so that would be a hard shot to make. I got a plus seven, so that would be a minus one. Yep. I think that might actually be a hit. Yeah, it's only got a 15 armor class. So is that a hit? So you do five points damage. Why are you minus one with your bow? Well, my modifier is uh, plus seven with my bow. So but your damage you has minus a eight with the uh, what you said to hide and the negative four from the other. That takes me to a negative one, right? Yeah, it looks like your macro is. Uh, Kind of screwed up because it's putting the mod into both your attack and your damage. Okay. 
You see how it says 2d6 plus 2 minus 1? The minus 1 shouldn't be in there unless you have a modifier that gives you minus 1 to damage. Okay. So I'll re roll that. What kind of bow do you have that you get plus two damage? I have a uh, masterwork longbow with a strength plus one, and I'm using masterwork arrows 2d6 plus two. Okay, the 2d6 plus two is wrong. It should just be 2d6. So you should have, your macro should be 2d6 plus 1. Okay. So strangely, the original damage was right. <laughs> there you go. Much better damage, too. Okay, Ragnar, you're up. Okay, uh, um, yeah, okay, move back. That door is open. It is, in fact. Well, I will... I'll fire an arrow. And I'm using Masterwork arrows with a Masterwork composite short bow. Uh, yep, so that should give you a d10 for your damage. Uh, do you have a strength modifier on your bow? Plus one. Okay, so you'll do D10 plus one. After you roll the hit. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Got it mixed up. I rolled D12. Let's see, what was my ranged attack is plus four. Should probably be plus five if you have a bow. You rolled a D12. It's much harder to hit with a D12. Should be three for your dex, one for your base attack, and one for your strength. So, three for my dex, yeah. One for my strength, two for my... Wait... Uh, three, three for my dex, one for my strength, and what else do I need again? One for your base attack. That second level of rogue is, uh, plus one to hit. Okay, I'm still kind of learning here. What do I do again? Uh, 
slash r space d20 plus what do we determine five i do have an attack macro i just noticed that No, that would have been a lot easier to use. Attack modifier is plus four, right? No, no, it should be plus five, but just roll it. You can fix the macro later. Yeah, whoever set up those macros for you went all postal with the uh, modifiers. I don't know why there's a mod box on those macros. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember. I can't remember who helped me with it. Um, I think it was Mike. And I think yeah, he, I, yeah, I think it was Mike. Yeah. And I think he did a terrible job. Did a good job on your character sheet, but. Uh, I don't know what macros he's given you, or if you modified them in a way that they don't uh, seem to. Uh, I was still working on modifying him, I think. No worries. Um, the 15 on the die is more than enough to hit, uh, so you can uh, use your damage, which should only be plus one, so it'll be seven points, so you can subtract that from the monster's total. And then 20 minutes into the first round, Angus, it's your turn. Finally, huzzah, I can move! Okay, so how does moving through people work for the movement counter? I have 30 feet. It's a double movement. Yeah, the square yeah. that you move through, you count twice. So that would be 20 feet no, that would here. No, 10 feet, yeah. But so 5, 10, and then... That's and then, 10 feet. Yep. And then. So to move diagonally the first time, it's still 5, right? Yep. All right. But you can't move diagonally until you have a clear space to move diagonally in. If you move there, you have to use your 5 foot to get out of that threatened square. I'm sorry, repeat that. When you step into the room, you're standing in a threatened square, and if you move out of it, you provoke an attack of opportunity. So you have to use your swift action to take a five-foot step to get out of there. Can I choose not to move now that I know that, or is that already done? No, you can move back if you want. Uh, I've been doing this for so long and waiting for so long that I completely forgot that the first thing I wanted to do was cast shield. But I forgot. So I want to cast shield. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Terrible. <laughs> Three players who don't know how to play, muddling their way through the dungeon. How deep are they? Uh, they're fairly deep. We've been going at it for like 45 minutes. Okay, so you don't have to roll anything to cast this. It's just shield, right? And now it's a disc in front of me. It's one minute or until discharged. Yep. Uh, technically casting a spell in a threatened square provokes an attack of opportunity, and you have to roll a spellcraft check. But you can cast the spell before you move up. That's what I was planning on doing, but I forgot because I was so focused on finally taking my turn after waiting. No worries. That's just the nature of the game. Your character wouldn't have forgotten to cast shield before moving up. You had said that before the uh, round started. How does adding to an AC work in this type of scenario with this game? You put four more on your AC. So whatever your AC is currently, you would increase it by four. And then I just got to make sure I change it back with the, the spell. Yeah. Spell lasts for two minutes, which is 20 rounds. All right, so I've used, how, what have I used so far? Movement and swift action or standard action? Uh, 
You've used your move action and your standard action to cast and move, and then you still have your swift action left. What can I do with that? I don't even think I can do anything. You can cast a zero level spell, uh, or you can take a five foot step. I think I will cast. Well, casting in melee range will give an attack of opportunity on it. Not for here. swift spells, only for fast and standard spells. Okay, I'd like to cast Ray of Frost, which I took as the, the one sorcerer thing for that level. Okay. And let me figure out how to do that. No, get right back. Just uh, roll a d20. You just open your dice roller. There's one of each die at the top, and you can just click on it. Way faster than trying to figure out the macros if you don't know how to use them. Do I get a bonus for that at all? Or? Yep, you are second level, so you get plus one for your base attack. And then you get your dexterity modifier, which I believe is also plus two. So you'd be plus three to that. The cockatrice. So, uh, 13? Yeah, unfortunately, his armor class is all dodging stuff, so his AC would still be 15. Dang. So you would miss. You get three for dex, one for size, and one for the dodge feat. Okay, then it's initiative. Jesus Christ. Yes? <laughs> the cockatrice. You're not me. Jesus, you're God. Get it right. There's a difference. <laughs> there is a subtle difference. Did you want to run and catch up, Ryan? Uh, if you guys could use me, I'll, I'll jump in. Nothing. Get out of here! They, we only they have two people. Please help. They could definitely use something. Click the wrong one. <laughs> Can you see yourself, Merton? Hold on, let me zoom out. Make sure you update your uh, token. I'm going to go to the bathroom and be right back. Wow, Rule 20 is so fidgety tonight. How do you get a dice on the screen? It landed right, right in the middle of all the tokens and I can't see shit. Turn off the dice, for starters. The uh, 3D dice are just lame. Okay, so the cockatrice goes first, and he really dislikes Angus, so he's going to attack Angus. Eighteen, is that a hit on Angus? No, it is not. It misses. So then it's the wolf's go. What is the wolf doing, Dagon? Dagon? You roll your animal handily.
Okay. Can he attack from that square? Yep. Yep. I'm going to do that. Okay, that's a hit. And it's your turn, Dagon. I'm going to do the same thing I did a minute ago. A minute ago? You mean like 20 minutes ago? Don't forget to roll initiative for time. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry. Roll initiative. Okay, Murdon, it's your turn. Uh, that wolf, is that part of the party or is that? Yeah, it's Dagon. Yeah, he's mine. Okay, well, I'm going to push. Where, um, I can't see who this is, the, the middle token. Like, that's I'm a threat to square. Yeah, Angus is standing next to the monster. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get through that without, I guess I, oh shit, I can't do that. Because I'm trying to figure out how to get to where I can see it without provoking an attack of opportunity. Let me know when you figure out how to cast Wish. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to cast Shield. Okay. Do anything else? Um, nope. There's your macro master. Instead of talking to Mike, get uh, Ryan to help you. Okay, Angus, you're up. Cool, I just got back, so, hey. Uh, so I'm holding my rapier. I think that's what I... Yep. I think I'm just gonna attempt to smack it with it. <laughs> so, that's a... What's... What do I find? What's the modifier on this? Should be at the bottom on your weapons table. We'll say rapier and give you a plus. I got it. It's plus two. So it's a d20 plus two, or do I add other things? Nope, just d20 plus two. After we're done, email me a copy of your character sheet. Okay. Mow. Okay. Uh, 13 is a miss. So, Ragnar, you're up. Yay. Another chance for me to mess up. Do you have precise shot? I do. Where would I find that? Feats. You have it. You're an archer. Yeah. Point oh, maybe. Blank shot. Yeah, you don't have it because you're an elf. You only have, or half elf. You only had one feat. Yeah, I only have point blank shot. You'll have to move to attack then. 
No, he just takes the minus four to fire into combat. I guess I roll to attack. Yep, roll a d20. Uh, I think we determined you were plus five. And then you're minus four for firing into combat. So one. Yep. Excellent. That one. Well, that was an epic fail. Okay, roll initiative. Okay, the cockatrice will attack Angus again. Striking him this time. For a whopping one point of damage, um, Angus, you can roll your fortitude save. Uh, that's a, a saving throw, right? So it's a... Yeah, it's a fortitude save. Okay, I get plus one. To... Plus one, excellent. That's probably a fail. That is most definitely a fail. Okay, uh, the cockatiece uh, pecks at you, and you can feel something coursing through your veins, and it kind of feels like you're being tied up with an invisible rope. Uh, then it's your go, Angus. And on your turn, you can uh, roll a save as your action. You said on my turn I can roll saving my action? Did I, do I have to put something on my character? Or... Uh, yeah, you just re-roll the same save. You just push the arrow up key and hit enter. It'll re-roll it. I thought you said on my turn. Yeah, uh, it's technically Dagon's turn. I must have uh, set up the uh, initiative before he got his in. Um, so we'll wait for Dagon. What are you doing, Dagon? I'm um, going to use my bow. Okay. I miss. Okay. I miss. What's your wolf doing? Uh, he's going to attack. Wow, everyone's missing tonight. Okay, I guess now you can roll another save. Yep, still petrified. Okay, uh, your whole body starts to uh, tense up and you cannot move in any fashion. Uh, Merton, you're up. Well... I guess all I can do is just move up behind the the ranger and try and shoot my. You so. do not have line of effect from there. So, I'm trying to just figure out what to do. Because I mean, there's really nothing I can do unless these guys move. But what's the deal with this chest up here? Did you guys already check that? Yep. 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 Okay. Um, can I do a dungeoneering? Four. No, uh, see if there's any like weaknesses or something for the cockatrice. Or... You don't even know it's a cockatrice. 
Oh, okay. I just figured it word would have been passed back, but no worries. Uh, Nobody has identified it yet. Uh, well, Lots of screaming is all you've heard. Uh, what kind of save is it? A will save? It is a fortitude save. Oh, yeah, that's not worth it. I'm just going to hold my turn. Then. I'm totally metagaming on a fortitude save. No, I heard you said it was a fortitude, right? And I look at mine, I'm like, ooh, that's... Yeah, that, that's called metagaming. When you make a decision based on game mechanics that you're not aware of as a character, that's metagaming. Uh, I just sat down when you said oh, fortitude. No, I get it. I, I, I was just pointing it out. Like Your reason for not wanting to rush into the room is because you got a horrible fortitude save and a crappy armor class and you don't want to be paralyzed. Well, that and... Uh... Yeah, okay. Moving on. Um, Ragnar, you're up. It's my turn? Yep. Okay, uh, I will move, I guess. Christopher, I check how much speed I got. Six squares. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Uh, do I have to have that minus four again? Yep. Anytime you're firing into combat where two people are uh, fighting, in this case, the wolf and the cockatiece. Okay, okay. I just, that's what I was trying to get out of. So uh, I will just go for it. I'll attack again. Wow, you guys are terrible. Okay, then that makes it an issue. I can't believe the stupid bird with 12 hit points has lasted three rounds. It's because none of us can hit it. It's because none of you are willing to step through this threatened square and move into the room to attack it. What is Angus stuck? He also refuses to move up. No, I totally refuse. No, I'm stuck. Well, the strongest hitter you got in the party can't touch it, so you do. I'm a ranged attack, so. No, the rogue makes sense that he stands back, but the uh, double axe wielding ranger trying to shoot blindly around a corner is uh, taking away the best attacker. I'm still in the process of attempting to kill my bard. Oh, you're very close now. Okay, so the uh, cockatiece will move over and attack the wolf. Oh, so close, yet so far away. Okay, then it's the wolf's turn. Uh, he's going to attack. Nice, a critical. Okay, roll to confirm. Just re-roll it. Not a confirm, so you do uh, max damage, which for your wolf is seven points. So note that on the token. And Merton, you're up. All right. Moving in. And then. That's the one I got. Square. Oh, was it? Okay, I, did, I thought he moved further away. Fuck it, man. Just roll roll the dice, man. Because I'm not sitting in the back of the party. I mean, that's obviously a hit. Very obviously. Uh, you take one point of damage, and you can roll your fortitude save. Uh, 
Hold on. The health bar apparently is on my Just roll a d20. Do the math afterwards. Oh, it's like showing it's missing more than what it actually is. Uh, yeah, just roll right. a d20. Push the button that says d20. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why you don't have a button that's just a d20. You just push it, and if it's a really crappy number, you failed. If it's a really good number, you made it. And if it's in the middle, then worry about the math. See? No problem. No, it wasn't. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong health bar. Like when I click on mine, I don't see. No, I, I understand that. I'm just saying that you didn't need anything other than the D20. You rolled a 13 on the D20, the DC is 12. Too easy. Yeah, that's so, exactly my thought. <laughs> so since I made that, so that's the end of my move. Well, at least my movement. Yep. Cool. I'm going to hit him with uh, some magic missiles. Okay, roll your spellcraft. Um, one second. Nice, okay, no problem. You should get at least three missiles. Right, well, I mean, that, those two kill it, but... Uh, no, that's fine. I'm just I mean, pointing it out. See, you should have done that in the first round. <laughs> You'd have one less paralyzed person. Okay, uh, nobody else's turn matters until we get to Angus, at which point uh, you can roll another fortitude save. All right, here we go. There you go. You break Not free. 20. You break free of the uh, petrification petrification uh, effect. So what now? <laughs> I mean, it's dead, right? Is there right? any loot? <laughs> Yeah, there is uh, a CR3 loot. I didn't roll up loot for him. Just noted on the list, uh, Merton. Uh, Dagon has the other two drops. They're in the chat if you scroll back. Put it in the chat, please. You got that, Dagon? Or are you right? Do what? Do you have a text yeah. version of the uh, treasure, or did you just uh, write it down on a piece of paper? I just wrote it down. Okay, hang on. I'll see if I can find it. I'm already on it. Okay, someone will scroll back and find it. Okay, so what are you guys doing next? Someone pick a door and I'll check for traps, I guess. Pick a door, any door. Pick a door, Ragnar. Guess the one closest to me. Okay, roll your perception. Anyone want to heal up before he opens the door? Uh, no. Not good, but I don't want to waste another spell slot. Hey, I didn't hear you, John. What did you say the loot was off that? Just put down a CR3 loot. I'll roll it at the end. That should be all the treasure that I found yep. in the chat from Mark. 9,000 copper pieces, aka 90 gold pieces. 
Nah, there's more than that. Yeah, I'm kind of confused in this one. I, I rolled D D20 with the modifier of 6. Somehow I got negative 1.8. I don't know where you're getting 1.8. I see 17. You rolled an 11 plus 6. Gave you 17. I see 17. Oh, I, I see it. Oh, it, it was something else. It was the initiative, I think. I don't know. It, like, I don't know. It, it was kind of interesting. Okay. I'm assuming a oh, minute has passed. I did. I, I did. I scrolled up by accident. Okay. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, you do not find any traps on the door. I would like to check the other door for traps. Okay. I forgot the modifier, so I just put it on. Like I, I rolled a three, so I don't think a modifier matters. You also do not find any drops. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to wait for them to go. I'm going to quickly check this door for traps so that I can just wait for everyone else. I was checking to find out options. Okay, uh, is everyone ready to go through the door? Yeah. Yeah, open the door. And you can roll initiative. I rolled for the torch on accident, my bad. How do I take the torch off the toilet? Never mind. Okay. Uh, Dagon, you're up first. I'm going to shoot my bow, that one right there. Okay. That would be a hit, except that for some reason your macro is all screwed. Like you did 13 plus 7, and for some reason it says 7 successes. Yeah, I'll fix it after the game. Just go into the macro and take out the plus 0 mod. And the. Uh -huh. take, like, take out all of the text. It should only be numbers. You can get rid of the less than 22. It should just be roll d20 plus 7. That's a pretty nasty modifier, though. And you do 2d6 plus 1. Which means you only did five points, which is exactly how much damage reduction it has. So you uh, don't do anything of significance to him. And then the skeleton will move up and attack the guy with a bow again. get for open doors yep that's one of the things you get uh ragnar he moves up and takes a swipe at you with his claw but he is unsuccessful 
your go. You are currently in a threatened square. Am I allowed to move away? You can use your assist action to five foot away. If you move, you provide, uh, provoke an attack of opportunity. That's why he uses his swift action to five foot away. Oh, okay. I'll five foot away. Okay. Then what are you doing? Five foot away, and then can I hit it? Around the corner, you'll take a minus four penalty for cover. I'll just take the minus four penalty for now. You can just move back so you don't have the wall in your way. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, you get a swift action, a move action, and a standard action each round. Now I shoot at it. Okay. But still me. Okay. Um, dig on. What's the wolf doing? If I move him to here, can he attack? No, you can't make a melee attack around the corner. Okay. Can I hold his turn? Uh, yep. I'll do that. Okay, Martin, you're up. Um, what level is Disrupt Undead? Zero? The zero level one is. <laughs> I'm going to oh, make sure that's up to date. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, I was sitting here talking to myself. There we go. Yeah, you were pushing the button through some of it. Those numbers should be right. Yeah, looks right. So you do seven points to the skeleton? Yep. Doing anything else? Yeah, I'm going to hit it with the uh, electric jolt. Why would you use an electric jolt? I don't know. It's a zero level spell. So is Disrupt Undead, and it does more damage. Well, I mean... Yeah, that's true. Fuck. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. No. <laughs> I'm fucking stone now. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I can I can roll and disrupt undead if that makes more sense. Well, I don't ever get a chance to use it, so I don't know. Yeah, I can't possibly understand why you'd want to roll a d6 instead of a roll a d3 instead of a d6. All right, we'll go with that then. Except you miss with a nine. I'm sorry. You miss with a nine. Oh, oh, that sucks. You miss with the electric jolt too, so it's not like it was any different. Okay, uh, you've used your swift and your move action. You still have your standard action left. I'll hit it with another disrupt. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Almost enough damage to kill it. Almost. A crit? More points? Did you crit? 
No, it's 19. Oh, okay. Uh, Angus, you're up. All right, so I'd like to pull out my short bow and take a shot at it. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I, I'm on the wrong tab, and I can't figure out how to get back. Oh, yeah. Nice, that's a hit. If that was my rapier, what a quick crit. I'm sad now. Yeah, if you weren't such a coward and just moved up and attacked, you would have been in great shape. I have like 10 health. I don't want to get hit by anything right now. But I thought you wanted to die. Yes, but I don't <laughs> want to die for stupid reasons. It's, it's got to be something. Like uh, it's a, a D6, room? right? Yeah, unless you have a better bow. Yeah, I did not buy one because I'm stupid. That's fair. Hey, two damage. Woohoo! You do nothing. That was, yeah, because it's got damage reduction, right? Yep. So that was uh, a standard action, right? Yep. So I can cast a zero level spell with a sword action? With a move action or a swift action. You still have two actions left. I would like to cast with the move action. Can I choose which one I use? Yeah, whichever. Uh, I would like to cast Ray of Frost again and to attempt to hit it. I have one more zero level spell for the day after this one. Okay. It's being weird. You miss horribly. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I do. And as a swift action, can I start to sing? No, singing is a standard action. Although, oh, okay, yeah, well you, then. you use your bow as your standard action. Yeah. Well, then I'm just going to try and cast it again, and that will be my last cantrip for the day. You want to roll a knowledge religion check, if you have knowledge religion? I mean, I've got bardic knowledge. I don't know if I have knowledge. Do you have a rank in knowledge religion? I do. Okay, roll a knowledge religion check. Nice. Uh, you happen to know that uh, it's a skeleton and it's undead. And undead are immune to cold. So a ray of frost won't do anything. Oh, well, now my character and I know that. Yes. I just pulled up the sheet and I was looking at it. I was trying to remember what they, whether or not they had immunities. Okay. Uh, can I even do anything then? Let me look at my options. Um, final cancer. So I'm going to cure minor wounds on myself. Okay. That's a D3 plus one, right? Or is it just D3? D3 plus one. Okay, you get back three hit points, and then it's initiative. I still got my wolf. What's your wolf doing? Uh, he's going to move up right, right there and attack. Okay, roll your animal handily.
Nice. Okay. Move him up and uh, roll his attack. Oh, and the wolf destroys him. Then roll initiative. Yep. Can I keep the initiative I wrote before? Like, yep. Before. Nothing's changed. We just forgot about his wolf. He said he wanted to delay. I forgot about it, so we moved on. So, I guess... The wolf goes first again. What's the wolf doing? Stop moving when it's not your turn. I'll put my character back. Dig on. Wolf's Dig up. On. What's he doing? Moving there. And attacking to the south. Okay. Hello. Okay, so he hits for five points of piercing damage, which does not overcome the skeleton's five points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, because my attack was successful, can I use the trip that he had? Yep. Roll yep. strength check. D20 plus his strength, it's probably plus two. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick piss. Thanks for filling us in. Okay, Angus, you're up. All right, so I literally have no idea where they are in the room because I can't see the room, so I'm just going to walk into the That was meant to be diagonal for the first one, so that's still five. So five, ten, fifteen. Huh. So I go into him, I don't think I can move out. I won't have enough movement. Well, how much have you used so far? Fifteen. He's used fifteen, he's still got fifteen. Yeah, you can get to the other side. But the doorway makes it twenty, so this would be thirty if I won't move through a character, wouldn't it? Yep. Let me count again. So, would I be able to move one more? Yeah, because you can use your five foot step to get the last one. And then I want to strike at it with my sword. Okay. Uh. You suck. I've noticed. Okay, then it's the skeleton's turn. And they will all charge forward. So the two skeletons will attack you, uh, Angus. I finally get my wish, hopefully. Woohoo! Oh my Critical! God! <laughs> Dying a bold death. Okay, so you take five points of damage from the critical, then the wolf gets attacked. Missed horribly. Uh, Ragnar, it's your go. 
Okay, uh, I will move to the door for my move action, and I end my turn. Okay. Uh, dig on. Uh, uh, 15, 25. All right, now I'll move right there. No, I'll just stand right there where I'm at. I can't do nothing. I don't have enough movement to get through everybody. It was nice of Ragnar to make a nice traffic jam there. Okay, Merton, you're up. Um. So I can see that furthest right. And you that can guy. see whatever you can see. I can see the far left one. Okay. This okay. one right there. So I'm going to hit it with uh, Disrupt Undead. You should be able to see all three of them. I see the top, like, left corner of the furthest right one against the wall. Right there. Okay. I mean, I can see all three of them. I just see, like, the... No, I, it's oh, I, I it just depends on what you're using. If you're using a, a uh, ranged touch attack, then you're minus four for cover if you're going to one that has half cover. Well, I have precision shot. Yeah, but that doesn't get rid of cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some magic arrows and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna hit this. if you're going to use magic missile, then the magic missile will automatically hit if you can see it at all. Right. So uh, I'll uh, I'll attack this far left one. Okay. And miss. Good job. Uh, try. Uh, no, that's it. Fuck. Um, well, I can. Use my movement so I might use my uh, standard action. Yeah, still fucking missed. Awesome. It was a waste of two fucking spells. You're my hero. You still have <laughs> you, still, you still have one action left. No, I don't. I, I use my movement to move up there. Oh, okay. My oh, okay. And my... Use a magic missile. Magic missile automatically hits and it does generally enough damage to kill a skeleton. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then it's initiative. As the party slowly dies of cowardice. I'm dying an honorable death right in front. True that. You're going to die bravely. Everyone else is just going to wait until it's their, di their turn to die slowly. The one person that actually wanted to die is dying honorably. Okay, Merton, you're up first. We cast Magic Missile. What an awesome idea. I'm so glad I thought about that and not met again. That's 10. Which one are you targeting? The far left one. Same one I was attacking. So, yeah, that's a standard action. Uh, and then I guess I'll cast. Uh, you know what? I'll, yeah, fuck it. I'll save it. I've only got one more level one or level zero left. Okay. Uh, then it's the skeleton turn. So the two uh, west skeletons will attack Angus. I think they all miss you, Angus. Although your shield should be running out soon. Yeah, it's going to run up, I think, 
if each turn is what six seconds and we had like 15 without combat so it should probably run out like next turn at this one okay uh wolf takes one hit two hits for the wolf So the wolf takes two points from the first hit and four points from the second hit, Dagon. And then Angus, it's your go. All right. So um, I'm in a threatened area, I'm assuming, with, with like surrounded by threatened areas. Yep. Every square you can move into is threatened by all three of these guys. Yep. Uh, that's the point of being surrounded. Um... I think I'm going to attempt to hit the one... How do I ping? Is it the... Just click it? Yeah, you just hold it down. Hit that one. Okay. I'm going to try to. Stab the bony man with your pointy stick? Essentially. Nice! Dude! Yes, I gotta confirm that, yeah? Yeah, roll your confirmation. Although, I think the damage alone will kill it. Yeah, probably. It's got two health. Well, I you don't confirm. confirm. Uh, so... But it's max damage, so it's, a, it's six. And it's then, actually, six? it, doesn't, it, it does doesn't, not kill it. It, it only damage. does one point. That's sucky. Okay, so uh, it still has one hit point left. You doing anything well, else? Well, um, I'm out of cantrip, so I have no swift action. Can I use, like, a bonus action to punch it? I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's got could, one health. You could use your five foot step to, or your swift action to take a five foot over and open up his face. I'll do that. That way it'll make it harder for the party to get your body. Uh, Ragnar, you're <laughs> up. Okay. I. I'll take the negative. I'll take the minus four and I'll shoot at the one uh, in the middle. Okay. Six. Good job. Hasn't popped up on my side yet. Is it really that laggy? Yeah, it's brutal tonight. I don't know what's going on with roll 20. Uh, I've been having like lag spikes lately. Or, or a few lag spikes. Yeah, I'm not getting his roll either. I haven't gotten it either. Are you sure that's not Angus's six you're looking at? Might be Angus's, yeah. It is. I actually... There it's you seven. go, seven! One better. Okay, Dagon, you're up. I can't move. I ain't got no space. Okay. What's your wolf doing? He's going to attack the one to the south. Okay. And he missed horribly. Then it's initiative. Goodbye, world. Sweet, sweet death. I assume you're still not doing anything, Dagon? Yeah, because I can't move. Okay. Then oh. the two skeletons will attack uh, Angus. Uh, 
What the heck? <laughs> wow, those are some horrible rules. Oh my god, <laughs> how am I still alive? Yeah, well, your shield runs out this round, so after this, you're screwed. I can recast it. Yeah, but you're standing in a threatened square while you're doing it. This is true. Okay. Uh, 16, that's a hit on the wolf, isn't it? Yep, that's the wolf's armor class. The wolf takes four points. And then we're on to Merton. All right, I'm going to send, um, cast Magic Missile, I'll send one to the uh, far left, and then the, uh, the other two to the one. Okay. Hey, look at that. Did I kill that one in the end? Yeah, it only had one hit point. And uh, I'm done. You just cast one spell? Did I just cast one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've only got my strikes, and I've got one level zero left, so. Don't want to waste that here while the party's dying. Uh, we'll uh, start I mean... Dagon? Yeah. What's your wolf doing? Oh, he's going to attack the one to the south again. And he misses horribly. Good damage, though. Good damage. Okay, Angus, you're up. All right, so I'm still in the threatened square? Yep, but you can five foot out of it. Okay, I'm going to five foot out of it, use my standard action to recast Blur. You mean chill. Uh, yeah, yes, that. So I, I was thinking about Blur because that's one of the spells I want to get eventually. Okay. Uh, do you anything else? Uh, what do I have left? Just movement, right? Yeah, you have your move action. You can move down and open that other door. I, I, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to move down. I'm going to move deep into the room where the monsters won't be able to surround me. Um, I'm trying to do math. 5, 10, 15. So I can move it to, all the way to the end. I'm going to go here, and that's it. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Ragnar. Okay. Wolf's in my way, so... I will just attack... Do I... I have a, I'm going to attack this one. Okay. You miss. You miss. And it's going to get better. Yeah. Yeah. About five more rounds, you'll hit. We need a more acrobatic rogue. Are you rolling initiative? Or? Yeah, it's initiative. I remember Darkwing Duck at first level was uh, tumbling into the room. Acrobatics is, on mine is uh, plus six. Or no, wait, that's athletics. Plus eight on acrobatics. Balance and uh, tumble, right? Yep. 
So I've been putting in the wrong one. What do you mean? Uh, I got plus eight total on that one. Yeah, but you haven't rolled an acrobatics check yet. Oh, yeah. I was just pointing it out because you actually are the roadblock that's stopping everyone from coming into the room, and you're the one that's best at moving through threatened squares. I thought it was the wolf. Well, the wolf is technically in the way, but uh, Ragnar could uh, tumble through to the other side and open up a space, and if Merton could get into the, even the doorway, he could blast shit. I didn't think to tumble. Shield is the greatest spell of all time. I'm just going to point that out. So. Shield, shield is a ridiculously powerful spell. In in 5e, it is so broken. I played an Eldritch Knight, and by 8th level, full plate, an actual shield, and the shield spell, I was untouchable. Shield plus uh, Blur made me untouchable as my sorcerer. He was in, but he also uh, prestige in the Rage Mage, so he was a barbarian. That is awesome. Uh, it was so, so much fun. The skeleton goes first, so he will uh, five foot to the south and then move up and attack you. Leave me alone! <laughs> he likes you. But he misses horribly. And the other skeleton will attack the wolf. Missing horribly. And then it is Merton's turn. Merton, All right. on. I'm uh, shoot another magic missile because I'll eat doggy. I'm going to. Whatever. Dude. Remember All of them were max damage. <laughs> Remember when I said to do that in the first round? That other skeleton's dead. Help! He's pinned himself in the corner on the far side of the room. Uh, I didn't think it would follow me. Dagon, you're up. I can't move. Okay. Uh, then it's the wolf's turn. Give me a puppy. Give a dog a bone. I got, a, uh, got a question. My uh, my wolf has low light vision and scent, so can he see in the room? Yep. yep. There's a torch. Oh, dancing light, technically. How long does that last, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Read the description. I was just asking because all I ever see with my wolf is dark. What do you mean, see with your wolf? Well, like, my main character has dark vision and can see 60 feet, so most of the time I can see my wolf has low light vision and scent, and most of the time, even one square next to it is almost dark most of the time. Yeah, it's because you can't see through your dog's eyes, through your wolf's eyes. Oh, okay. I got you. You have to give him a command, and if you can't see what you want him to do, you can't command it. Got you. Somebody's got the uh, bong going. <laughs> it wasn't me, man. Yeah, well, we know you're already stoned out of your mind. But I'll um, do it over with the mic open. Okay. So we have a problem, by the way. What's that? The dancing lights are gone. Okay. It, it they apparently only lasts a minute. I, I swear it was like an hour or something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't last very long. It's basically supposed to be just like an illusion trick spell. Um, I thought it lasted longer than a minute, but uh, I didn't look it up. The the yeah, spell light is minute. way better. <laughs> 
Yes, but I'm a bard, and so I'm more of a performing thing, so I chose Dancing Lights for the performance. But we don't have to do any performance because it's a dungeon crawl, and I realized that about ten minutes ago. I told you that at the beginning, that playing a bard in this game is not particularly good just because it is very dungeon crawly. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm having fun. As long as you're having fun, I don't care. I just wanted to let you know up front. Okay. How do I remove the torch? Because it's not there anymore. It's dark in here. Okay. Uh, Ragnar, you're up. I guess I'll move next to the wolf, and I will fire an arrow. I can't see five feet in front of me. That's how dark it is. There you go, you should be able to see five feet in front of you. Thank you, I can. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice, that's a hit. Roll your damage. That was a D10, right? Uh, I think so, D10 plus one. Plus two, because you're within point blank. Nice, that's decent damage. So you do five points to him. Which is almost enough to kill him. Angus, you're up. You're up. Okay, so all I gotta do is crit so I get my max damage of six and then I kill it with one point. Oh wait, no, because it's at six. Yeah, okay, at one point, yeah. That's all I gotta do, but if I don't, I'm dead. <laughs> so You just have to hit it and do uh, max damage. Yeah, well, I'm going to attempt to smack it with my short sword. Well, not short sword, rapier. This is why Mike carries around a, a light mace when uh, he's a rogue or a bard. Light mace, light mace short sword, and a short bow. Cover all the attacks. One sec. I have to check something. That's a hit. Okay. Big Here we go. Nine. I have to get a six. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. You fail. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Goodbye. That's initiative. Okay, Dagon, you're up first. Save me. You still have the greater than D20 in there. Yeah, I see that now. But a 20 is a hit, so 13 plus 7 is more than enough. Are you third level now? Yeah. What did you take as your feet at uh, third level? Uh, precise shot. Oh, see, okay. So 
so back when I asked you if you wanted to be an archer or not, and you said, nope, definitely want to use two axes, you changed your mind? Well, I use it, you know, in certain cases, if I can get in close and, you know, use two-hand attack, I will, but if I can't, then I like to have the bow to fall back on. Fair enough. How long have we been going for? Uh, about two hours so far. Uh, recorder puts us at 2.01 and 14 seconds. What's up? Nothing. This one, no. Oh, okay. Um, so you do a whopping two points of damage to the guy, which is more than enough to kill him. I'm just falling to my knees and kissing the ground. I'm alive. Loot! <laughs> He's going to proceed to walk to the corner of the room and hang himself. <laughs> He will die eventually, just on his own terms. Fair enough. Hey, Dagon, your uh, wolf's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, he's down to 10 points. So, how much longer do you want to, you guys going to keep playing? Because if we're going to keep going, I'm going to need a, like a short rest. I, and, I might be able to play one more hour, but I gotta get up for work in the morning. Well, uh, I've got strikes and all my level twos and three level ones, so...